This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Specifically, the Final Cut Pro 10 image exporter. It's published by Orangutan at the web address you see there. It's not .com, it's .cl, orangutan.cl, apps FCP image exporter. It's available on their website and it's free. And just to give you a story here, I was rehearsing this yesterday and discovered a bug in the software, prevented it from working. I sent them a crash report. I had a fix, an update to it. It went from 06 to 07. Uh, overnight I had it this morning. I was very impressed at how fast they pay attention to, to reports of problems. What it does is it creates still frame images based upon timeline markers. If all you need to do is export a single image, that's easy. Just export the image. But what happens if you need to do 50, 20, or 100? All you have to do is to set markers, then export the project as an XML file, and poof, Instant images. Now, right now, this only supports full screen images. It doesn't support any effects that you've applied to the image. And by the way, I want to do a, a shout out to Peter Wiggins of FCP Co. for introducing the folks at Orangutan to me. These guys are, are cool, and thank you, Peter. Let's show you how this works. Okay, here's what I've got. I have a series of clips, of which there are six, and I have markers for each of these shots. Okay. So there's my six markers. I could have any number of markers that I want. In this case, I have six. I'm going to go back out to here, select Image Exporter. That just happens to be the name of the project. Export the XML. I'll take the default file name, store it to the desktop, click Save, Hide Final Cut, because the export takes very, very short periods of time. I created a desktop icon, just an alias to where it's located inside the application folder. It says, where's the XML file? Click on it. And I say, it's right there. And it says, where do you want the images to be stored? Well, I've created a folder called stills. You could call it anything. You could store it anywhere. But I stored it on the desktop just to make it easy to find for this demo. And what format do you want, JPEGs or PNGs or TIFFs? I want PNGs. Click Export. And that quickly, all six images are exported. There's image one, two, three four, five, and six. That's amazing. If you're in need of getting images exported out of Final Cut, Image Exporter from orangutan.cl is worth getting. This has been an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at new plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 111. Membership is a great value, especially when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.